This is the Impossible I1 instant film camera. It was made by Impossible in 2016 and takes Polaroid 600 or iType film. It has um, Bluetooth connectivity for remote shooting as well as full manual mode in its own app. On the top you get the frame two framing windows for framing your photos, they pop out. And on the side you've got the on off switch as well as a switch to go into the Bluetooth mode. And turning it on shows the number of photos left. On the side you've got exposure compensation for over and under exposure, just a little switch, as well as a switch for the flash on and off. So really intuitive. Um, you load the film just like any other film camera, you take the cassette with the little quote facing upwards and open the bottom like so, you then close it up when it's fully inserted and then you've got your photos ready to shoot and turning it on shows that you've got 12 photos there left by the LEDs that come up. So I've come to this courtyard area here just to talk a little bit more about the Impossible i1 or the uh, Impossible camera here. Um, so it came out a little bit before the Polaroid 1 Step 2 um, but it's in the same kind of ecosystem. Uh, it takes uh, Polaroid 600 film so it runs on its own internal batteries which you can use expired film so that's a good advantage for this camera. Um, Everything is really self-explanatory, the flash, just a little big flash icon, exposure compensation and turning it on and off. And that's really what control you have. It's all autofocus, so if you're looking for manual control, probably look at the SX70 range. Um, and then you also do the framing by these two little windows here. The first uh, window stays up by itself uh, on springs and flings back, but the second one does not. And that's actually really annoying if you're in the moment it can uh, flap down and then you won't be able to frame your photo as you wished. Um, but that's a little pet peeve, if it was my camera I'd probably maybe blue tack it down, stick it down somehow, not to damage the camera. But I've actually um, really enjoyed shooting with this camera. The fact that it runs on its own internal batteries allows you to um, shoot with expired film and then that may make uh, instant film more accessible or more affordable for you, that would definitely be an option for me if I was to go into instant film route and it's definitely kind of um, opened my eyes to uh, shooting with instant film as opposed to uh, what I've shot in the past which may be medium format or 35mm. So uh, all in all I've actually really enjoyed shooting with this camera, um, I think the autofocus works well and it definitely gives you a unique look. I definitely recommend if you've not shot uh, any instant film before to maybe pick up a cheap Polaroid or pick up this kind of camera or the One Step 2 and uh, give it a go because it definitely gives you a neat, unique experience when it comes to film photography and photography in general. Um, and it's gonna be really fun at something like a party. So um, you're not really looking at too much of an investment. This was 90 pounds, so it's you know not too expensive and not, not and you're still going to get a good quality product as well. So um, I've actually really enjoyed this and I definitely highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for um, a new camera, a new film camera. I think it's cheaper than the Polaroids One Step 2 as well. So um, yeah. I'd like to give a big shout out to The Layton Image for sponsoring this video, as well as uh, for letting me borrow the camera which is featured in this video. The Layton Image is a small business based out of Shrewsbury and Shropshire and they do film processing as well as selling uh, used equipment. And their used equipment is actually really reasonably priced and I definitely recommend if you are in the area to check it out. So thank you for watching this video. Um, sorry it was a little bit mismatched together but um, I hope you got some value out of it. Um, I really enjoyed shooting this camera. There were a few nitpicks about it perhaps. 
Um, you know, I'm not rushing out to go and buy my instant film and change all my cameras to instant film because I had such an amazing time. But it was a really valuable experience and I definitely recommend if you've never shot instant film before, look at this camera, um, look at other Polaroid cameras, look at other instant film cameras and just get out there and shoot instant film. It was definitely an experience which I took value from and I'd like to give a massive thank you to the Leighton Image, Will at the Leighton Image for letting me borrow this camera for the day, letting me have some expired film and really just having a bit of fun um, on, a, on a, a summer's afternoon. So thanks once again to Leighton Image and thank you for watching.